Hello, my name is Mikael Eliasson and I'm a photographer and retoucher. Today I'm going to show you five shortcuts I use on a daily basis in Photoshop as well as how to create your own keyboard shortcuts. First shortcut is Command or Control 1. This will zoom in 100% on your image. And the reason why this is so important and why we use this all the time is because at a 100% magnification, one pixel in your image equals one pixel on your screen. So that's the best and truest way to look at the details and quality of an image in Photoshop. The first bonus shortcut I'm going to give you is to press and hold the spacebar and that will temporarily give you the hand tool which allows you to reposition your image on the screen. The next bonus shortcut is Command or Control Zero which fits the image to the screen. And finally you can use Command or Control Plus or Minus to zoom in and out in your image. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to give you is for one of the tools that we use most in retouching. When you press B on your keyboard, you get your brush tool. The first bonus shortcut I'm going to give you is where you reset your colors to pure black and pure white. So when you press D on your keyboard, it gives you default colors. And as you can see, I now have pure white and pure black in my brush. The next shortcut you will get is X and X will swap between foreground and background color and this is extremely useful when we're working with layer masks in Photoshop. So let me use the brush here and you can see as I'm brushing I'm just removing this black and white here to bring back the color. And the last two bonus shortcuts I'm going to give you are the square bracket keys. The left bracket will make your brush smaller and the right bracket will make your brush larger. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to teach you is Command or Control T. Command or Control T will activate Free Transform. Free Transform will allow me to move the layer and if I right click I get a little sub menu that allows me to do further things. For example I could scale this and if I right click again, I could choose to distort this. So if I now use this distort, I can place this little screenshot of the Domestica website onto this laptop screen here. And then I simply press enter or return to commit to that. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is Command or Control J. Command or Control J is layer via copy. And what that means is essentially to duplicate your layer. And if you have a selection like I did here earlier, it will make a copy of that selection. So if I now pick up my move tool, press V on the keyboard for the move tool, you can see this is where I had my selection and I have now made a copy of this plane and I can simply drag that out here. And as a related keyboard shortcut, when you have the move tool selected, you can also press and hold the Alt or Option key and that will also allow you to duplicate a layer. And curves is probably the most important layer and something that we use all the time in retouching. Now unfortunately, there is no keyboard shortcut existing for this. So let me show you how we can add our own keyboard shortcut. So edit and keyboard shortcuts. What you can see here are all the different menus in Photoshop. So I'm going to open up the layer menu and then I'm going to start scrolling here. Here for curves. So I'm going to here add the Alt or Option key to this. And you can see that Photoshop gives me a warning here. And it says that Option Command M is already in used and will be removed from curves with the last used settings if accepted. You cannot assign a different shortcut to curves with last setting used. If I'm worried about that, I can change it or I can simply say that I'm happy with that and accept it. But for example, I could then do Shift Command M 
Again, I get a message, Shift Command M is already in use and will be removed from Image Analysis Record Measurements if accepted. I can live with that. So I can either here choose to accept and go to Conflict. If I do that, it will then go to Record Measurements and I could then choose a new shortcut here. But as I said, I'm not bothered with that particular shortcut, so I'm just going to click OK here. So I'm going to try my new keyboard shortcut, Shift Command M. I'm just going to click OK to that. And what we can do with curves is work with brightness, contrast and colors. So that's before and after. So as you can see, a curve can dramatically change the look and feel of a picture. And that's why it's such an important tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about editing in Photoshop then don't forget to subscribe to Domestica to learn more about my online course.